Hi, my name is Nisar Kadam. In earlier video, I have shown you how we can utilize AI fabric in UiPath. In that video, I have just given a demonstration of a sentiment analysis AI fabric model which I have utilized in UiPath Studio and I have predicted some of the sentiments and the predicted confidence and the predictions I have printed in the Excel format. So I have displayed this video uh, and this video I have just given you the brief overview. But in today's video, we are just going to see complete demonstration of how you can create your own AI fabric model and how you can use it. Now, in order to navigate to AI fabric, you first of all have to navigate to platform.uipart.com, which is nothing but UiPath's own cloud platform. Log in with the credentials. Now, I have to log in with the Gmail account, which I'm currently using. Now, once I log in, I can see that there's AI fabric and also I can see the instances of orchestrator. So I'll, as of now, check the AI fabric. Let's click on the AI fabric and you can see that in my AI fabric application, there's only one project which is being deployed as of now, which is a sentimental analysis project. Now, in order to create a new project and how does this exactly work? So I'll show you a quick demonstration. So let's navigate first of all to the services. Let's check. Now the version or the service which you want to utilize, first of all, click on edit and verify whether you have AI fabric enabled and AI robot available. Now for me, I have two AI robots available and AI fabric as checked. So as I'm using enterprise version, so for me, it can, it shows that you have other services, AI fabric enabled and AI robot, there are two AI robots. That's wonderful. I don't have any GPU as of now because I'm using a enterprise uh, in license uh, enterprise version for trial, which is a two months. So that's why. Now let's navigate to AI fabric again. In order to create your own project, first of all, you have to click on a create project. <clears throat> enter your project name. Now let's say we have to create a sentimental analysis, right? So sentiment and I'll say analysis okay. and give a project description. So uh, predict sentiments on intenses. Okay, so I'm just giving some sample data right now in order to display. Click on create and you're in. Now, once you have created a project, you can see there is an edit project, there is data set, ML packages and pipeline. As of now, we don't need a pipeline. Click on data set. You can enter your data, upload your data set here from upload folder option. You can just drag and drop, otherwise you can select it from your folder location. Now in ML packages, you have an option to upload your own customized ML package or select one from UiPath out of the boss packages. Let's click on out of the box packages and in the out of the box packages, you can see there's a UI part document understanding, which consists of document understanding invoices and receipt. Also, if you go back, you can see there are some open source packages which are available right now, which is image analysis, language analysis, language comprehension, translation and tabular data. Now with image analysis, you can classify images actually with the language analysis, you can go in and you can see there are multiple options which are available within which we are going to use sentiment analysis. You have language detection, French text classification, English text classification, and a lot of stuff. And also you can see there is language comprehension where you can get a question answer type of bot or semantic similarity and text summarization. So it's pretty wonderful that UiPath has utilized and given so many packages. And I can see that the packages are daily updating one by one. Now let's utilize language analysis. Now, whatever, package or whatever the language analysis uh, package which you want to utilize ml package you can just select that and you can see uh, what are the input constraint and output constraint with the details so let's say if you select a language detection it shows you that this model was open source by facebook research which takes input as the text to be analyzed and gives you output with the predicted language so language with the contents like that in a json format so you can utilize this language analysis also. Now let's utilize the cement sentiment analysis and the sentiment analysis. You can see this is also open source by Facebook research and it takes the text and it gives you output in terms of uh, prediction. Now the predicted sentiment could be very negative, negative, neutral, positive, very positive. And this gives you in a JSON format with the confidence. So that's wonderful.
And in order to select it, just check the package. There are two packages available. So I can select package two or package one. So I'll select package one as of now. And I'll say submit. Now once I submit, I have to enter my package name. So let's say, let's give it a package name because this is going to display in your orchestrator. So, uh, so no, no, ML skill will be displayed in your orchestrator. So just give it a package name uh, as, let's say sentiment analysis. Package version is by default. So package name should not contain any character space, sorry. So I have given underscore here. And I keep these things as it is. Uh, you can change the descriptions also. I'll check submit. And that's done. The status is undeployed as of now because I have not deployed it. Now you don't have to create pipeline for this one because it is automatically a research based package which automatically has a data. So you don't have to train it and all. Click on ML skill and you have to create a new ML skill. You give a name because this is going to display in your orchestrator. Now let's say I give it sentiment analysis example. Sorry. And the score. Package which just we have created, right? Package version one, the, lim the minimum minor package version name is zero by default. Skill description so this is for predicting. So I don't have GPU, so that's why I'm not utilizing GPU. But if you use GPU, it, uh, the, the training would be even more faster, the responses even would, yeah, it would be even more faster. So I don't have GPU, so I'll just keep it disabled as of now. And as you can see, I have created a skill, which is currently deploying now. Okay, so it will be deployed in some time. Now uh, the logs you can see here, whatever the logs will be displayed for this particular skill. And now let's go back or before going back, let's check the license usage. So I have as of now one out of one. Let's click here. Now I see that there's a sentiment analysis package which I have currently used. Okay. So license usage, I can still see one. In order to show you, I will delete this license which I am currently using, which is again on the same, which is sentiment analysis. So delete to delete a already existing project, you just have to delete this ML skill first. So I'll delete the ML skill and then go to the dashboard and then delete the project. So that's confirmed. And now I have only one sentiment analysis, license usage, one, perfect. Now let's go back to orchestrator. I'll go to the orchestrator. Now in orchestrator, you will have a ML skill available option in the management section. So click on ML skill and you can see there's a sentiment analysis example package. The status is deploying. So it is not yet available. GPU we have not used, so it is showing none. Version is one, predictions are zero, and the description is this is for predicting sentiments. So wonderful. Now, unless, uh, till the time it is deploying, let's create a workflow, UiPath Studio. In order to utilize this ML skill, make sure that your UiPath orchestrator is connected with your UiPath Studio. Now, if you want to check how to connect your orchestrator with studio, you can utilize uh, one of, you can check one of the videos on my YouTube channel for orchestrator trainings. Let's say sample AI fabric. I'm just creating a sample so that just to, un just to give you a brief understanding of how you can utilize this. So there's no, not much work in studio. The lot of work was there in the, cloud version and then in the orchestrator. So which we have done, uh, let's come back to the studio. In the studio, you have to, in order to utilize ML skill, you have to add one package, which is nothing but, let's go to the official and you have to add ML services. So just type ML services, install this package, save this package. And yeah, it's done. Now let's take a flow chart or you can take a sequence also. Just take a flow chart, open it, save it. And we have to drag ML skill activity. Just drag it here. Now I'm not going to create entire workflow. I'm just going to show you how exactly this works. So let's go back to the orchestrator. Now it's still deploying, refresh it once and the package is still deploying. 
let's go back to the cloud platform here let's go to the ai fabric and you can see here the project is displayed here sentiment analysis to predict the sentiments from sentences that's perfect so skill status is still deploying it is not deployed yet keep refreshing let's go back to studio and refresh ml skill activity also once you refresh open it there is no skills available as of now because it is still deploying once this particular ml skill is available you can utilize it ml skill activity easily and then you just have to give input based on the package which you have selected so we have selected a package which is nothing but language analysis sentiment analysis in that we have selected this package so this takes an input which is a text and it gives you output in a json format with sentiment and confidence so this is the package which we have used so you have a lot of different options to check english text classification french text classification language detection and so many packages which are pre filled and which are available also you have some of the packages such as language translation also so you can translate from english to french english to german english to russian german to english russian to english which is pretty cool and also you can deploy your own package if you want so you just have to upload or uh, give a package name upload your package and then give input format description output description and which language you have utilized to deploy this package then are you using gpu uh, and if you want to train the data and all the stuff so you can create your own package also now let's check the skill again it is available that's wonderful so i will now refresh it here in the orchestrator and you can see the status is available now so once your ml skill is available Let's go back to your iPad Studio, refresh it. And now you have your skill available here, which is sentiment analysis. In order to test it, just click on test skill and you have to give here input. So let's say I give input some sentence such as uh, this product is wonderful. I love it. And let's test the sentiment. So I click on test skill. And it gives me sentiment with very positive with a confidence of 0 0.63, which is good because uh, the sentence is actually positive. Let's give a negative sentence. So I hate this product. You need to improve, or you can say for improvement. Sorry. And click the skill, and you get very negative with the confidence of 1.0 because actually it is a really negative sentence and let's enter some neutral sentence so let's say it is good but not best so i'm giving both the things like it's good also and not best also so it's kind of a neutral sentence so you can see the sentiment is neutral with the confidence of 0 0.8 which is wonderful now all you have to do is just map your workflow with the utilization of ml skill pass your input in the input section and it takes input as in string so that's wonderful so you can pass it in a array or for each row whatever you want to do and then you get an output in a format of json response so you get a json response as string then you can deserialize the json and utilize the data out of the json so this is how you can create your own model uh, of AI fabric not own model but you can utilize the already available ml model from AI fabric and you can create your workflow so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it now refresh it because we have tested it three times right so you can see the predictions there are three predictions which are already available so i have created this workflow because i have a trial enterprise license edition now go ahead give it a try and tell me how you like it thank you so much happy automation